Welcome to Driven Guitars. I'm Chris. I'm Matt. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, most of us don't live right next to Stumac or mm -hmm. Luthier's Mercantile. Mm -hmm. And uh, we often find ourselves in situations where we need uh, either tools or products to use in our workshops at home. And we need them right now. And then we go, I have to order online and it's going to take a couple days to get here. But the good news is over the years, I have found that our local store here, which is a Lowe's, mm -hmm. uh, has a lot of things that are very useful in a pinch to get you by to do things that maybe they weren't intended to do in the first place. A little, a little uh, hard work. Good luck and can do yeah. attitude. It's one of those situations where the guy at the hardware store goes, so what you working on? And you're just like, I'd rather not get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How can I help you today? Let's not. Let's, Let's not. not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so what we've decided to do today is we've driven up to our Lowe's and we're going to go inside and Matt and I are going to go walking around and we're going to find things that will be useful for guitar building or guitar repair that you guys could probably buy at your local hardware store and uh, to get you through in a pinch. And, and maybe see how quickly we can get kicked out of a Lowe's too yeah, for absolutely. filming and uh, and just generally being a nuisance and causing a disturbance. We, so, we've yeah. officially reached that point where we are now influencers in the wild. I hate all of this. Shut it down. I hate all of this. <laughs> all of a sudden I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> sandpaper so many people who are just getting started out will come in here and look at sandpaper and go holy cow this is expensive and they always end up going with kind of this cheaper general purpose sandpaper well this stuff is absolutely crap uh, the little granules of sand will come off uh, and they're not very consistent in how the sandpaper actually is applied to the paper and um, so if it's 60 grit it might actually have like the errant like 50 grit piece inside of it or 220 it might have like a really rough piece inside of it what you want to do is buy this more expensive stuff buy it one time and uh, it's gonna last you a lot longer but more more importantly is it's very consistent and uh, it's gonna yield you a much better finish on your guitar whether it's sanding wood or sanding the actual finish on it so make sure you just buy the better sandpaper don't cheap out and get the crap they uh don't cheap out and get the cheap stuff, get the good stuff. Here's another, this is not a uh, uh, what to buy, this is what not to buy. Uh, what do you call this, Zinser? Is that how, Zinser brand? Um, it's a. It's like a pre-made and pre-mixed shellac. Uh, it's not that you can't use it, I just would highly recommend that you don't use this pre-made shellac. There's a lot of additives that they add to this so that it doesn't kind of like, it has a long shelf life. What you wanna do is be buying your actual own shellac flakes and mixing it in alcohol, make your own. It's super cheap, it's super easy. Uh, try to stay away from this stuff. There's just a whole lot of unknowns that are inside of it. So something that I saw and just wanted to point out to you guys. Something that I'd recently discovered that they sell here, only specifically at Lowe's. I think we can get this on Amazon as well. But this cobalt light, what is this? The LED neck light. It's super awesome. It actually just goes around your neck as you can see in the photograph here, and instead of having it stuck on your forehead, and it's really freaking awesome. I use it all the time in the shop, um, especially like if you're using the Optivisors, which a headlamp would not work well for. This thing just kind of stays out of the way and works super, super good. So it's $20, it's super awesome. I use it all the time. All right, something else that I actually don't have any experience with in my workshop itself, but I've been eyeing these for a couple of years, are these um, butcher block countertops that they sell here. I know that um, Home Depot actually sells them as well, but they're acacia wood. They sell them all the way from these small ones here. These are um, 50 inches long, all the way to these like 12 foot long ones, and the prices on them are fantastic, but um, they're inch and a half thick, all solid wood, and already glued together. They seem like they'd be really stable, and comparing those to the prices of what you would find at like a Rockler or a, a, a Woodcraft, this is like a way better price, so check those bad boys out. Um, something that I have been using for years that is super useful for like when you need a perfectly flat surface um, for doing sanding on is actual tiles that you can get here. What you want to look for are pieces like these that are glossy smooth on the on the front side of them, but they are absolutely perfectly flat. And you can um, use spray adhesive and put sandpaper on these and use them for flat surfaces like sanding uh, nuts and saddles and things like that. And then. Another cool thing that you can do is you can get these smaller pieces like this and actually just put some sandpaper on it and then use these as perfectly flat surfaces for doing sanding. And the cool thing about them is because they're stone is that they don't change and ebb and flow with temperature changes and humidity changes. So super cheap, super useful, and you can use them all over the place in the shop.
all of those uh, acrylic templates that I call them, I call them acrylic templates that I use inside the um, inside the workshop, I get usually from here. But one thing that I want to mention is that you actually really kind of want to stay away from the actual acrylic stuff because acrylic is actually really brittle and wants to break. What you actually want to look for is this stuff here, which is a lot of times referred to as Lexan. Um, but you can see how much more flex. Well, that's fun. <laughs> how much more flexible it is. Uh, and it cuts really well in a CNC machine or even just with your sander if you're doing it by hand. But you can toss these things around the shop and they're not going to get hurt. So this is the stuff that you want to look for. Plus, it's a lot cheaper than acrylic, which is nice. Okay, so over here are what's called um, S beaners, I guess is how you say it. Mm. Or is it S biner? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's a carabiner, right? Carabiner, yeah. yeah. I always call them S beaners. These aren't that expensive. Uh, and I use these, you probably have seen in any video where we're doing finish work, I use these things for hanging guitars all around the workshop. They're so much better than anything else I find because if you're just going to use go click and it works really good, I've probably got two dozen of these things. They're, they're $4.00 super awesome buy those they have so many uses but they're really useful for hanging guitars okay so those of you that have been trying to make your own guitar molds at the house know that when you go to do the um, inside spreaders on them you need some sort of turnbuckle well Lowe's has a whole assortment of them and these things work really well they're not that expensive and you can get them in all kinds of different sizes which are really useful for depending on the size whether you're doing ukuleles or guitars jumbo guitars oms whatever but all of the turnbuckles that are inside of um, the molds that i have at home are all these ones that you see here um, not much money and you can just buy random sizes and just try them out once you get home if you need to okay so you guys have seen my videos anytime i'm using the um the go bar deck and a lot of people say where did you get the um i guess you call them the go bars well all of those actually came right here um, I just buy these reflectors and then I just cut this end off because these are fiberglass rods and they work super good as go bar um, sticks. Bars? <laughs> good. Go bar bars. Uh, you can also get these ones here which are thicker um, and don't have the reflector on the end of them but are fiberglass as well and work really well. Um, you just obviously want to get rid of this pointy end and then on Amazon you can actually get these little rubber tips to put on these things but um, these are two dollars and that's like a tenth of the price of what you're going to find them for online. So always something very useful and if you need more go bars you can just come here and buy more of them okay while i don't use these exact ones in our shop these are the craftsman ones we use all the milwaukee ones these are like a sustainer but we've only recently started using these things but they're super awesome um, a bunch of different brands make them but all of these things are removable and you can change them out to fit whatever you want and the cool thing is that they stack up on top of each other but what we've really started using these for in the shop is uh, we'll like have like whatever particular project we're working on all inside one sustainer and then have another one with the next project another one with like just soldering and electrical equipment in them but they're not that expensive and they're super awesome like i said we don't use these craftsman ones we use the milwaukee version but they're all kind of the same thing and they're just super useful Jesus. all right you're a bad camera holder well <laughs> yeah um i'm doing the best of what i got here all right I always enjoy a good walkabout around a, a Lowe's. I could do that for hours every single day and be happy. Uh, it's my happy place, really. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Matt bought some uh, some safety glasses, so that's yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I love I love spending money on things that I'll probably never wear. If that's I'm right, honest. Exactly. <laughs> safety first, though. Don't do, don't be like me. Well, thank you guys maybe saw there uh, just a few of the things that I know over the years that I have bought at Lowe's that um, aren't really advertised for guitar building, but can yeah. be used for it. They're very useful. You don't need to spend a lot of money at really, really nice boutique wood shops. Uh, your local hardware store totally has things that you can use. If you guys um, are buying a product at your local store, let us know what that is in the comment section. We'd love yeah. to hear. Um, you know, there's just so many different... That's our favorite part of YouTube is we're always finding ways to improve our shop too yeah. by little tips and tricks. So yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good one.